or clarification. As you may recall, that about a month ago, we have caused to address a press conference on issues that has to do with bigamy, marriage within marriage, with concealment of the former marriage, abetment for an offense, criminal assault, wrong confinement, among others, involving the trial of Abu Bakr Musa Abu Bakr, Nasiba Sani Dauda, and Al Haji Sani Dauda ASD. Our reason for addressing press conference then and now is to ensure the, the speedy dispensation of justice, protection of human rights, and equity for all the parties involved. We shout at the rooftop that there has been clandestine moves on the side of Al Haji Sani Dauda ASD to influence the judiciary to subvert the course of justice to guarantee a predetermined outcome in his favor. We make bold to say that the recent accusation and counter accusation of bribery, extortion, and name dropping to ensure that ASD's pending cases of financial crimes is dropped and also to compromise the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Tanko, to influence pending cases at different courts involving him, al Haji Sani Dauda ASD, his daughter Nasiba Sani Dauda, comrade Abu Bakar Musa Abakar and others. What is playing out at the moment is a clear vindication of our earlier position. We wish to restate our position that we front in the strongest terms the many attempts of Al Haji Sani Dauda towards influencing the temple of justice with a view to cause miscarriage of justice in a case that is unambivalent. The brazen and cowardly contrived attempts by Al Haji Sani Dauda to sabotage the independence of the judiciary in dispensing justice dispassionately and to bribe EFCC officials to drop his proven financial crimes should be condemned by all well-meaning patriotic Nigerians. al Haji Sani Dauda is primarily hell-bent on destroying the tested reputation of the EFCC on one hand and on the other he is trying to compromise the person and office of the Chief Justice of the Federation, whose duties, as we all know, include but not limited to ensuring independence of the judiciary against any external influence and protection of both rich and poor, the haves and the half not the proletariat and the bourgeoisies. Today, it is a known fact that al Haji Sani Dauda, popularly known as ASD, is constituting himself as a threat, an obstacle to the President Muhammad Buhari's zero tolerance for corruption. Whom we are calling on the anti graft agencies to apprehend them, having established the fact through the confession of Halaji Sandauda ASD, who willingly and advertently offered to compromise an ongoing EFCC investigation and pending judicial cases. Hence, the need for EFCC to move swiftly in arresting Halaji Sandauda for immediate prosecution. The EFCC, as a body, established to fight corruption in this country must purge itself of criminal elements within its folds and associates as civil society groups who are the conscience of the nation. We will not fold our arms and what the desecration of the temple of justice by some unscrupulous and unpatriotic elements with connection in high places. 
the chief judge of Kaduna, the grand cadi of the Sharia Court of Appeal in Kaduna, the FCT High Court chief judge must be made aware that the whole world is watching on how they will eventually deliver justice dispassionately or subvert the course of justice in the case of Abu Bakr Musa Abakar by Sis Nasiba, Sani Dauda, and others. Most especially that the EFCC's report is in public domain and it has been published by various newspapers to the effect that one million naira each is given to the four judges in order to compromise any case before them where Abu Bakr Musa Abakar is a party. We will accept nothing less than the unbiased dispensation of justice without unnecessary medicineness or influence and inducement by making sure that only proven facts are admitted as evidence, as we shall monitor the proceedings from the beginning to its logical conclusion. We will remain eternally vigilant to ensure that the course of justice is not aborted prematurely and that justice will not be mortgaged for any reason whatsoever. And we will ensure that justice must be seen to be done. We shall not follow our arms and allow muzzling of our judiciary by vested interests or any group of misdirected, self-serving, or sinisterly motivated individuals or groups to sabotage the ongoing reforms in the judiciary led by the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Honorable Justice Tanko Ibrahim Mohammed. It is worthy of note that the CGN, CJN has dissociated himself from the bribery attempt in consonant with our advocacy for a free and truly independent judiciary. We urge the CGN to go beyond issuing press statement denouncing his involvement, but should write a formal complaint to relevant security agencies to investigate and prosecute all those responsible. Finally, we sternly warn that any such activities will be met with stiff resistance from our part. From all evidences on the ground, it is clear to every discerning mind that the action of al Haji Sanidad and ASD are highly contemptuous and fueled by corrupt individuals held bent on subverting rule of law and principles of natural justice. Thank you very much for listening. I remain this out between him and Senator Shi Hussain. This is a clear vindication of our earlier held position that yes, that has been in the offing. And we are not in any way clearing Shi Hussain. What we are calling on the anti graft agencies to do is that both the bribe giver and the bribe taker are corrupt and should be punished according to the law of the land because uh, there cannot be only one party, a bribe taker alone. There must be somebody who gives the bribe too. He too should be punished according to the law. And as regard to the issue of the uh, Chief Justice of Nigeria, he has earlier issued a statement distancing himself from the alleged bribe, bribery. What we are calling on him to do more is not only to distance himself or to issue a disclaimer, but in order to save the integrity and image of the judiciary to write a formal complaint to relevant security agencies to investigate the matter as well as punish all those culpable or found to have been in one way or the other try to compromise the judiciary or the anti-graft agencies. Thank you very much.